680's Richard Southern joins us now. Richard, a long-time sales practice will soon cease to exist here in Ontario. Say it ain't so, the door-to-door -door salesperson is going to have to hang up their shoes for good. Yeah, what do you think? Is it a good or a bad thing? You know, you're sitting down to dinner and the doorbell I rings. I think it's we a good thing. Yeah, because it always comes at the mm -hmm. wrong time. We don't like the doorbell to ring at all these days, right? Because you're supposed to, like, text ahead of time. Mm -hmm. So I guess that maybe it is a good thing. But uh, Ontario set to outlaw the door-to-door -door salesperson as of March 1st. Uh, you're not allowed to sell uh, air conditioners, water heaters, furnace, furnaces, water treatment devices door-to-door will be prohibited. If anyone does that, there'll be big fines. And Francis, if you do uh, ink a contract with a door-to-door -door salesperson, you'll be able to get your money back mm. if you want under this new legislation. Well, there are a lot of people who alleged that they were scammed at the door. So That's true, and especially seniors too, so mm -hmm. yeah. Shoppers Drug Mart is uh, really looking for a profit high. It has signed another marijuana supply deal. Yeah, it's third in the last couple of months. Shoppers teaming up now with BC-based Tilray Canada. It will supply medical branded yeah, cannabis yeah, products to Shoppers well, Drug Mart. Uh, Tilray's announcement comes after shoppers signed similar deals with Afria and Med Relief. Shoppers has applied for a license to sell medical pot online. Hasn't been granted that yet. Of course, it won't be able to sell recreational pot in stores, not in Ontario. Uh, that's going to be done at government-owned stores only, Francis. Coca-Cola made a major environmental announcement today. Uh, not everyone's happy, though. No, Greenpeace isn't so happy about this. But Coca-Cola did pledge to recycle 100% of its bottles and its cans by the year 2030. The company also said by uh, 2030 it will uh, make bottles with an average of 50% recycled material. Greenpeace is slamming Coke for focusing on recycling instead of making less plastic bottles. Greenpeace says that's the surefire way to really help the environment is just to produce less plastic instead of trying to do more recycling. Coke produces 120 billion bottles and cans a year, Francis. Mm. Now, we know a lot of young people like to spend their money, but apparently not on any investments. Yeah. Uh, look at this new survey out looking at people aged 18 to 44, and it found 33% spend more on coffee in a year than they do on investments. 44% spent more on holiday gifts than investments, and 34% shelled out more on vacations than they did any sort of investment tools in the past year. And, of course, you're missing out on the magic of compound interest if you don't do this. Francis, financial experts say if you're in your 20s and your 30s, uh, you should save uh, about 20% of your yearly income, and you should invest some of that. But tough I, to do. I think the financial experts are missing out that a uh, beach vacation is an investment in my health. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, you take a vacation, you'll be more Rest, productive relaxation. when you get back. Yeah. But I guess it's they got to start thinking about investments, right? So maybe not when you're 18, but when you're in your 30s, when you're in your 20s. Like yeah, well, it's hard to, to think that far ahead when you're in your 20s. But, you know, as you get closer <laughs> to that retirement age, they say you need, what, one or two million for retirement? So, yeah. Oh, boy. So it is a jacket perfect for a Friday. Uh, you're thinking of investing in this new outerwear? What, what is this? I think I'm going to get one of these. It's the Pabst okay. Blue Ribbon Jacket, uh -huh. Francis. It's a winter coat that can hold 12 cans of beer. <laughs> you, you fit two in each of the side pockets. They're is it insulated? Pockets. Will it keep it cool? Yes, indeed. Actually, they are insulated pockets. Keep you warm with the beer cold. Uh, there's uh, breast pockets where you can fit two more cans. There's a cozy in the top left pocket. That's where you keep your open beer, uh, Francis. Uh -huh. uh, inside, there's netting that can hold a couple more tall boys. All told, you can fit 12 cans in your Pabst Blue Ribbon Jacket. Sells for 250 bucks. Pays for itself, I'm sure. So this is like a camping thing? Is it? Yes, or, like, it's why a else camping would you want thing. to carry around lots of beer and open beer? <laughs> You know, if, you, if the mood <laughs> strikes you, Francis, you know? Right. Finally, uh, let's look at where gas is uh, heading this weekend. Yeah, not good news. It's heading up just a penny, but we've seen a, a steady increase here this week. So going up another cent tonight to $1.26.9, much higher than we usually see at this time of year. It's because oil's close to 64 bucks, a multi-year high. Francis, you have a good weekend. You know, I will, but I have to fill up, so... <laughs> You might have to take the bike back to Mississauga tonight, get on the old bike. Take a bike. How am I going to transport my three kids to hockey on a bike? <laughs> have them pull you. Have them do the work, Francis. That's right. Okay. I'll do that. Thank you, Richard. Have a great weekend. Thanks.